It feels like we're associating the words printable wall art with Etsy for as long as I can remember. And there are other ways to sell printable wall art. There are other ways to sell printables of any kind. You can sell them on your own websites using Shopify, WordPress, Payhip. But whenever I make a video about anything like this, people say, well, these are not marketplaces and I'll actually have to do my own marketing. And then people ask, is there an actual marketplace that can replace Etsy when it comes to selling printables or printable wall art? And the answer till now was pretty much no. But now we actually have an alternative marketplace to Etsy to sell printable wall art. And that marketplace is Zazzle. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today we're talking about how to make and sell printable wall art on Zazzle, not on Etsy, which is a marketplace that has its own traffic. Now I am going to give a little bit of a side note and I hope I'm not crushing your hopes and dreams, but just because something is on a marketplace that has traffic already, doesn't mean it's gonna get sold because all this traffic going into Etsy doesn't mean that people are going into your listing on Etsy, especially as a new seller. If traffic comes into your store by any chance, they will see that you have no reviews and no sales and they might not buy from you. And we do have to market our own designs no matter what platform we use. But for the first time, we actually have a marketplace alternative to Etsy when it comes to selling printable wall art. And that's the topic of this video. And I will try my best to give you all the information needed in this video, even if you're not familiar with the platform Zazzle already, or you're just starting out with printable wall art, just starting you know, your research. So I actually wrote some bullet points here. So what is Zazzle? How to start a Zazzle shop, because you know, it's a bit different than how to start an Etsy store. How to create your printable poster on Zazzle when it comes to uploading your own design or actually making the design in Zazzle. You don't have to use Canva. You don't have to use any other platform. If you have pieces of clip art, they even have their own text. And that's kind of a brilliant move. And after we design this poster and put it up for sale, I'm gonna walk you through the now what <laughs> phase of creating categories and collections on Zazzle and finalize this video with a comparison between Etsy and Zazzle in terms of how much you're gonna get paid, in terms of the easy process of uploading or creating a listing, your responsibilities to your clients, and hopefully you will figure out which platform you want to use for your own printable wall art journey. You can also use both, by the way. So let's start with the first thing on our agenda, which is what is Zazzle? And in order to start this whole video tutorial experience, I'm just going to have to perform a small magic trick and now I'm small, so you can actually see my screen. And welcome to Zazzle. Now Zazzle is a print-on-demand marketplace, which is kind of weird because the topic of this video is selling printable wall art. However, for those of you who don't know, they recently started adding printable options for their wall art and their greeting cards. For those of you who don't know what print-on-demand is, just to you know add you into the loop, if you haven't seen like the 250 videos I have about print-on-demand, Print on demand is basically when you design a product and you're not actually ordering the product. It's not actually being made. You're given a mock-up, a simulation of how this product is going to look like. And when a buyer purchases your print on demand item, then the company, whether it's Zazzle, Redbubble, Society6, or print providers like Awkward Styles or Printful, that company will produce the item and ship it to the client. So Zazzle has been a print on demand marketplace since, I don't know, the dawn of time. I think they're actually one of the first ones to start with print on demand. And a lot of people use Zazzle on a personal level. Like they're looking to just, you know, print their own photos, customize text, which is why Zazzle actually has a file editor or a design editor on top of the platform. So you don't actually have to assemble everything on Canva and worry about the DPI control because Zazzle will tell you if the DPI is good, which is amazing. Now on Zazzle, there are so many products that people can sell. And if you look here at the bottom, we have the create button and looking at all the products that they have, this is just a short list of everything they have. They actually have over 1,500 products. There is a full Zazzle series just about Zazzle for print and demand. And I recommend that you watch it if you want to get into the Zazzle platform, but they also integrated a printable digital download option for greeting cards and for wall art. And today we're going to be exploring that. Now Zazzle gives you the option to open as many stores as you want. And 
just, I don't know, for a quick look-see, this is my self-love journaling store where I design notebooks, planners, and even journaling stickers with prompts and all kinds of notepads and cool stuff. And I also have the store that I've been working on with our challenge for 20 minutes a day, which is my bathroom mania store, which is a store all about bath decor. So we have here things like a towel set, bath mats, as well as shower curtains, candles, and I also have wall art. And the way that the stores are assembled is based on collections and categories, which I will explain in a few minutes. For now, what I'm going to do is show you how to open a store. Now, once you have your Zazzle account, just open a Zazzle account, you go into your account and my stores. And here you have the option to open a new store. So let's open a store for the sake of this tutorial. This is going to be fun. And this is a store to sell printable wall art. So I'm going to enter my store name and obviously this store name needs to be available. Now, when it comes to choosing a store name, I am going to go with a name that I already have a domain for because I used to promote wall art, I think at the beginning of this channel two years ago. But if you're just new and you might not know what the store is going to be about yet, maybe try to think about something with your name. So for example, May Aoyo Designs, I also have Aoyo Arts here. So your name and arts, your name and posters, your name and visual or whatever it is you want to sell. And please make sure before you do that, that that name is available to be purchased as a domain, at available on Instagram, available on Pinterest, on Facebook, wherever you're going to maybe want to market this store later on. So I actually have this website, which is called Think Wall Art, that I opened at the beginning of this channel that I'm kind of going to go back to, that promotes various types of wall arts on multiple platforms. There's actually more content here than I even remembered, but I'm going to use this name to open my store. So I'm going to write Think wall art and as you can see i wrote it connected because that's the way the store has to be in the name for zazzle and it is available i'm going to confirm that i'm not a robot because that is very important and create my store this is the process of opening a shop on zazzle from the beginning now what i have here we have like edit store information make this store private i don't want to make the store private when I look in the store name, I'm going to space it out here because here I can and tagline, which is sort of a description of what this store is about. So I'm going to write unique art posters and wall art printables or wall art digital download printables. Okay. Unique art posters and printable wall art. I'm aiming for keywords here. And then we need to write our about section. So what I wrote here, hi everyone and welcome to Think Wall Art, the place to find unique wall art items to decorate your home. My name is May and I'm a graphic designer and illustrator who loves creating unique home decor items in various styles. I hope you'll enjoy my printable wall art as well as physical posters and have them enrich your home experience. Now the reason why I'm saying physical posters is because within the process of making a printable wall art on Zazzle, you're also creating a physical poster that people can buy and you can make money with that. It's a dual combination that is just brilliant. Now, obviously you can open a store that contains printable wall art, but also printable greeting cards or contains wall art and other stuff. I chose to focus here on a store that is just about wall art. And now I have to add my store banner, which I probably wouldn't have at this moment because I like to use the actual mockups or simulations of my art to create the banner. We have to add a website URL, which in my case, I do have a website URL, which is thinkwallart.com, but that's not mandatory. And the tags. So I'm going to write here printable wall art, art posters. And this is the place to write, like, for example, if you have any kind of specific style. If you're doing nursery decor, if you're doing things that are art deco, or you're doing floral designs. So for me, for this purpose, I'm going to leave it blank and I'm going to add it later because I can add more tags based on the designs that I will upload. And then city information. I live in Bansko, which is in the Blagojevgrad County in Bulgaria and submit. Now, this has nothing to do with your actual profile because my actual profile on Zazzle is located in Israel because that's where my business is located. But never mind that, let's start designing products. Now, our store looks pretty much like nothing. If I'm going to go in here to my profile and to my stores, my store thing, Qualart, looks like this. It has nothing. It has a Z rank of minus one. Z rank is a way for you to know how your store is doing. And they're actually telling you what you need in order to complete your profile. So 
add a store logo and banner image, create 10 store products, 10 store collections, uh, share 10 store products, share the collections, and upload 10 media items. Now let's start with understanding something here because we have products, which in this case I will see nothing, and categories within them. But we also have collections. Now collections and categories are separate so that you will have basically two ways for people to filter out what you're selling. So for example, if I'm in Bathroom Mania and I go to my products, the collections of my products are based on the type of product. So bath mat, towels, wall tiles, wall art, and shower curtains. But my collections are based on the design type. So for example, Van Gogh bath decor, puzzle bath decor, purple bath decor, liquid art bath decor. And as you can see, even just from the collection view of things like pink it up, it's everything with pink. So it will have multiple products from multiple categories in the same collection because they kind of match. Let's just enter one of them. This is the, my black and white collection, which as you can see here, will have multiple types of items. Now, when we're looking at an empty store, it's really up to you what you want to design. If you want to design printable wall art, and again, also physical wall art, that is just for kids' rooms, maybe start with that. But if you are targeting different rooms in the house, you can have your categories for wall art for nurseries, wall art for teenager rooms, wall art for parents, and stuff like that. And then your collections would be things like floral, motivational, or even by color pink, blue, and whatnot. I'm going to start with a, a new category to the store and I'm going to call it posters just to start it out to have something to place because having categories is mandatory. I'm clicking on done and I'm heading over here to the create button, view all, and I'm simply going to type in here poster. And here you can see that you have different poster sizes that you can start with, but it doesn't really matter which one you click on between those because you can actually select a different type of ratio here. So when it comes to the size, we have these sizes that are square. We can switch to landscape or portrait again. And you also have the standard sizes that are 6 and 12. Or you can even select your own. And now you can see we have the 24 by 36 inch. And these are the types of posters that are available for the physical product. Let's ignore that for now and go to customize this design. And here I already uploaded a piece of artwork that I did with Procreate of a woman doing yoga in a weird field. And notice what happens when I click on it because we are in the designer. We're designing the printable poster. So I'm clicking on this woman here and then it tells me that this is a different size than my selected size. So do I want to continue with 24 inch by 36 inch? Do I want to resize it to the nearest poster size that they have? Or I want to resize my poster for 40 by 56 inch because that's how Zazzle appreciates this photo to be printed on in good quality. So you want to make an insane poster? Let's just maintain the selected poster size for now. And as you can see, it has a little bit of an edge on the side because again, it's in different dimensions. And if I just do nothing from here, this is how it's going to look. We have a home office, we have it in the kitchen, we have this in the living room, another living room. They do have a lot of mock-ups and the most unique thing about this is that this is true to size. I don't have to think about if my size is good in the mock-up, if it's detailed enough. This is my poster. Now, one thing that I can do if I want to create a different experience to this, I can crop my poster. Let's say I'm cropping it a bit on the sides because the sides is where we have the access from, right? And I'm applying it. And now the poster is going to be almost identical to the size of the frame. And then I'm going to drag it, make it a bit smaller and align it to be completely centered. Let's crop it a little bit more on the sides like this. Apply. Thank you. And let's make sure again that it's centered on both sides. And I'm going to go to my layers, which is something amazing in this editor, and add a background color. And at this point, this will be the poster. It will have an edge around it. It will have this layer around it. And then I'm clicking on done. Now, this poster is something that I created. I created the design of it, the artwork of it on Procreate. But I can also actually design it using elements from Creative Fabrica directly on Zazzle. And I'm going to do it in a second. What I do want to show you now is how to sell it because right now no one can see this poster only i can see this poster it's mine and i can 
I don't know, add it to cart, order it. But now let's move on to the interesting part and actually sell this. Okay, so we click on sell it. And here we have to write the title. So print to value poster paper. No, woman practicing yoga in field poster. I don't need to write the words printable poster here because it's not a printable poster. It's both printable and print on demand, which is again amazing. And choose a department which is art and wall decor. I basically copy paste the title to the description and then you can write something more about it. Original painting. Practicing yoga or meditating in a beautiful field in the evening hours, for example. Can be purchased as a physical poster or as a digital download high resolution. When I write fast, I always make mistakes. Original plan to print yourselves, which is not that important to write down here because people can also see it, but I kind of like to do it. Now we can choose that this design will be only on this size, only on this aspect ratio, this paper type only, this paper only, canvas only. I'm going to choose this aspect ratio only just because I want to maintain that frame. And here I can select if it's for any event or occasion, which in this case is not relevant, who the recipient is. Uh, for example, for anyone, for her, for kids, something like this. And we actually have things like a nurse, a pastor, a priest, a teacher. This is really cool. Let's do for her. Do we have a yoga woman? <laughs> No, let's click on for her and click OK. So these are for her and the category is automatically posters because this is the category that we have. It's the only one. You can actually add a new one here. And this is actually all my stores. So if this was meant to go to another store, I can just switch it here to the self-love journaling store and it will select from a different category. But we are designing it for the wall art and I'm going to select the posters category and then the tags. The first tag I always use is the name of the shop. So think wall art. And then we have yoga poster, um, next to meditation poster, woman doing yoga, yoga painting, relaxing painting, woman wall art, we have printable poster, yoga studio poster, yoga wall decor zen wall decor and we are limited to 10 let's see if i put yeah, exactly 10 and i space them out with commas this is suitable for all ages this is rated g because you know it's a woman doing yoga and now i choose the visibility if it's hidden and only i can see it or with direct link to someone i choose public and if a person can customize it themselves i chose yes now we have here royalty information and this is a royalty percentage for the price of 26.9, which is for the printed version. For the royalties, they started with five, but you can choose a different royalty number that you want to get for the poster. And as you can see, the, the product, with you getting 5% royalty, that means you'll make a dollar. And this is how much it will cost. I don't want to make a dollar. I'm going to put it at 15 and I'm going to make $3 if anyone purchases this as a print, as a physical one. Obviously, I can enter something like 25. And then I'll make $6 if someone purchases this poster. Let's keep it for 25. Following that, we have the instant downloads. So do I want this to be an instant download? Hey, that's the name of the video. So of course, yes, I'm going to enable this product for instant download. And my royalties are going to be 92%, which puts my royalties at $8. This is a bit of a tricky thing to try to calculate because Zazzle has ongoing sales on their website all the time. This is very different from Etsy. Etsy is a marketplace that doesn't own any of its products. Zazzle does. And Zazzle delivers the file because as you can see now, I have the rights to publish this and post it. At no point am I actually uploading a PDF for someone to download. It's done. And this is the address of this on Zazzle. I actually have a link to affiliate my own store. We're going to be talking about that in the end. And I can create another poster or see my product. So let's see my product. And this is how it's going to look to people. There is a physical poster that people can see. 
And if they want to order the printed poster, it will be $28.95. Or if they want to get an instant download, it will be $10. It used to be $11.95 even when we saw the calculation ourselves when we enabled the commission. But now it's with a sale, 15% off sale for March Deals 23 quote coupon. And people can also purchase a print plus the instant download. Again, we have the instant download here so people can see how it looks on their phone. I'm not sure why it's doing it on a phone. And people can also see this as if they would have printed it at home and put a frame into it. We also have the actual printed poster size that again, people can change the size and order a different one. For example, an extra small one. Let's apply that. And now our price per poster is different, but the instant download price is staying the same because they're getting the file. Now, I told you at the beginning that we can utilize Zazzle's amazing designer to actually do things that you might have done yourselves with Canva or with Kittle or with any kind of program to create your printable wall art. So I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna head back here and click on create another poster. And this time, you know what, let's go with a square poster, uh, let's do 24 by 24 inch and apply and customize this design. Now, what do I want to have on this poster? I'm thinking something for nurseries, something for kids' rooms, so I'm gonna go to Creative Fabrica. And for those of you who don't know what Creative Fabrica is, it's an amazing marketplace to find graphics that you can use for print on demand and for printables, as long as you combine them with each other. It's a membership-based website, and for the all-access Fast membership to download as many fonts and graphics as you want per month, you'll have to pay $29.99. However, if you are a member of this channel, clicking on the link down below will give you 10 free downloads and a renewable membership in $9 a month. That is the current promotion we have with Creative Fabrica. Now, the amazing part here is that as many graphics as I want to download are covered per month but my license to use them is based on my continuing membership. We had a video that explains that, so I'm not gonna go into that much further, and there are also explanations on this on Creative Fabrica itself. Now, I wanna design something for kids' rooms, so I'm gonna to go to POD, it's usually where all the good graphics are for commercial purposes, and you can see here some amazing, oh my God, this is so cute. Ah, oh, this, uh, wow, well, bye-bye focus. <laughs> Uh, we also have here these cute cats. Let's open them in a new tab. We have some farms. Uh, we also have some fonts here. Let's go and check out all of their half million graphics for commercial purpose. This is insane. And these are like bundles, so it's even better. Oh, I love these turtles. They're so cute. I actually did something with some turtles. We have book lover things. Uh, I'm trying to think if I even want to do a nursery anymore. We have some cute backgrounds. We have this cute little fox with the moon that is also really adorable. We seriously have a bunch of stuff here. But you know what? We actually have to design something. Uh, so, oh, wow. I'm, I'm, yeah, I need like a day. These are just amazing. These, are the LQ design and cow design are like the best designers I've seen in a while. I, I don't even know what to choose. This is too adorable. I think I'm gonna go with an astronaut. Let's go with an astronaut and do something cool with an astronaut and utilize the best feature of this platform, which is customizable by the client. I am going to design something that the buyer can customize themselves. I'm gonna download this from Creative Fabrica. While this is downloading, I want to get a drink because this light ring on my face is drying me up. Mm -hmm. Now that our zip file is downloaded, I'm just going to unzip it. I'm using a Mac, so I'm unzipping it with a click. And here you can see all of the PNG items that we have. I'm going to take some of them, not all of them. I think I want to take this one and maybe like this earth and this rocket and maybe another one. And, and I'm going to grab all of them and drop them on to Zazzle. And what's going to happen is that they're all going to open or try to open at the same time. This is something that I usually just do. And, you know, I go get a cup of coffee and then I delete them and start again. Because obviously it's just going to be this big, big mess and the system is going to get very confused. So uh, with the magic of video editing, I'm just going to skip to the part where they were all uploaded.
now that all of these are downloaded, I'm going to delete them <laughs> so I can start from scratch. And I'm thinking I might have to add a different background because we are talking about like nighttime. So maybe something like this. I'm going to go back to my files and see this little astronaut here. Maybe the background should be less dark, maybe more of a dark blue than, you know, anything else. Let's go dark blue. Now, there are some kinks and bugs for this platform. I think that Zazzle sellers know about them. Sometimes things are a bit slower, but in general, it's one of my favorite platforms. I'm going to head back to my files and I can actually put everything that I see here on different corners and sides of this design. Now, we do have a huge space on our sides because of the file given to us by the creator. So let me just crop it because it's going to drive me nuts. Apply. We can also plot this one just to make it easier for us to move it around without it clashing with anything. This is actually kind of cool. Let's bring out this universe here and plot this. I should have cropped it before I uploaded it. Seriously, I should have done that, but of course I didn't think about it in advance. And I'm cropping the little rocket here. Honestly, I sell my own clip art and I and I always crop it smaller. I don't know why people don't. So we have here these elements. I'm gonna put them here and we have here layers. So this is gonna be in the back. Let's put it down. So my little spaceman is above it and maybe even put it like down. So he's like floating and I'm gonna make this bigger. Now I want you to notice something. I'm on 24 inch by 24 inch. If I make this really big, you're going to see this exclamation point in yellow here and here. And that means that this image is larger than what can be printed in good quality. This is basically your DPI control. The minute I made it smaller, it went away. And that's how I would know if I'm designing something that can actually be printed well. I no longer have to question the size of the element on Canva, if it's going to be printed right or not. I'm going to move my spaceship again in the back and then we have the rocket here and I feel like I need like another element or something to combine them all together even though it's kind of cute. So this is my poster for the time being and as you can see we have nursery rooms and this is kind of adorable. Now coming to the best part. First of all we can have this design as it is like this but the best part about Zazzle is the fact that you can customize the text. Now let's add a text, let's say it's uh, for a kid named Joel, so Joel's adventure, I don't know, let's say Joel's room, something like this, and this will open up here, and here you can control the size, the color of the font, and the font. Let's go with this one. It looks like it's in space. They have so many different fonts. It's amazing. Um, this one kind of looks, I like the Kiko ones. They feel like kind of uh, like uh, funky or something. Let's put this here. Let's see how it looks. Go away font. Let's uh, go back just to space it out a bit. And it doesn't really look like it's, you know, it's fitting with the colors. Maybe I have to move the astronaut a little bit. Or make the astronaut a tiny bit smaller and move it here. And we can curve this down and put it like in the side. Let's curve it a bit more like this. Let's like this. This actually looks kind of cute. So, Joel's room. The thing is that uh, not all kids in the world are named Joel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, while I'm on the font, I'm going to click on make this a template object, which will allow parents to literally change this to their child's name. But because I know that, you know, different child names uh, have different lengths, I'm going to try and make sure that my curve is going to be fitting for all of them because I did edit this with a curve. I'm going to put this here on top of my astronaut uh, for, I don't know, 
I think it will make it like a, a better and more easy experience. Let's duplicate this rocket and put one in the other side as well. Like this. So the painting is not gonna look boring on this side. Maybe something like that. And now as I'm on this text, I'm gonna click on make this a template object, which will create the option for the buyer to customize it themselves. And now I'm done. Now, as you can see, what the buyer will see is this. Personalize this, uh, this thing. Let's go with Angela. She likes astronauts too, huh? Angela's room. Hello. Angel's room. This is so adorable. Let's exit. And now, of course, we have to actually sell this. So let's click on sale. Now, at this point, I'm just going to fill out uh, something. Kids rooms. I'm not going to really focus on it. Added the word poster to it. Poster. I'm just going to fill this out really fast so I can get to, you know, the point of showing you how to actually use this unique painting because I don't have the file for this painting now myself and I want to have it. I'm going to check this aspect ratio only. La 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 la. Think wall art. Kids painting. Kids wall art. And of course, you need to do the thing. And of course, you need to invest more time with yourself. And I'm going to post this so we can see how this looks and get to one of the most important parts with Zazzle because, again, as I said, they have all these amazing mockups, but I can still add my own mockups if I want to. I can still have my own mockup to this. Now, with this design, it won't be hard for me to create a mockup because I made the file and I have it. But this is something that I assembled here. <laughs> like, how am I going to have this as a mockup? So, what I'm going to go is I'm going to go to more options here and download artwork. This will actually download the file of everything that I created so that I will have this file in case I want to put it on Instagram, in case I want to create more mockups myself. It's important to have it. And as you can see here, this is my design. With the words Angela's room, I can obviously change it. And now I can use the design even though I didn't make it on Canva or anything else. I can use it for mockups myself. So, we made the design. It's on our store. I'm going to go back to Think Wall Art and I'm going to click here. And there will be nothing here unless I go to store management because items on Zazzle take time to actually post themselves. You will get an email notification when it's posted, but if you're looking from your own view, you will see your products that are available as well as downloadable in this case. I can go here to collection and create a collection that is called Yoga Meditation, for example with the tags about yoga designs, meditation designs, painting for women, and a description. And I can also create a collection for kids' rooms, or in case everything is for kids' rooms and nurseries, astronauts, or custom name posters as a collection. There is much work to do here, including creating a banner, which I recommend to do at the end once you have a few other designs. There are tutorials on that on the channel. And add your store logo in case you have one. If you don't, create one for yourself. I'm going to use a variation of this because it's the same name. Last thing before I close this and summarize this video, when I'm looking at my product, you see here that there is an upload cover photo. So I can control the first photo that will be featured, and it has to be at least 1,480 pixels, one by one ratio. And here I'm going to go and upload my own cover photo that I made for this design. La la. I designed this cover photo using a mock up website called Canvi, which specializes in mock-ups for wall art. My mock-up looks really good and this will now be the first photo that people see when they search the Zazzle marketplace. So I can control one photo, not like on Etsy where I need to upload all of them. And now I feel like it's time to say a few things to compare this to Etsy. And now that we're done with the designing part and the visual tutorial, for this video, I would like to summarize this topic of selling printable wall art on Zazzle versus Etsy by actually going through, you know, the versus thing. So pros and cons. And I'm going to start with what makes Etsy better than Zazzle for selling printable wall art. Number one, your price control is a lot clearer. You can price your printable wall art for $20 if you want. You can price it for $10 and you can control your sales. 
Because Zazzle is managing the products themselves, we can control these things. You can't control when Zazzle is having a sale. You can select your commission. However, the minute Zazzle goes on sale, the commission is being reduced because the end price is smaller. However, I think there is a bit of a lesson to learn here when it comes to prices because I keep seeing people on Etsy price their printables for like a dollar so that someone will buy them when Zazzle just has a unanimous price between $9 and $12 based on sales. So again, benefit to Etsy, you can control the price and you can control the sales. You can have a sale on your store, you can have coupon codes, you're not dependent on a platform to do that for you. Another benefit for Etsy is uploading your own product photos. 10 product photos and a product video which you do not have on Zazzle. On Zazzle you can only upload one photo but they do have all the rest of the mock-ups and they're true to size so that's kind of a brilliant move so I don't even know which point takes this one but it's a benefit of Etsy to have more photo options and a video. The other benefit of Etsy is direct contact with the buyer. Not as direct as we might like to think but when a buyer buys from you like you know their name you can message them and it's a little bit more, you know, personal when it comes to the whole selling process. But let's move on to the Zazzle benefits, the Zazzle pros when it comes to selling printable wall art. The first one is uh, they actually built an option for print and demand on top of this. So you can sell a printable wall art that the buyer can instantly purchase as a print and demand item. And I've seen people try to do this on Etsy all the time, combine print and demand like a physical poster with their own printable version. The only difference is that if you do this on Etsy, you're going to have to find the integration with the print and demand supplier. The buyer is going to pay you. You're going to pay the supplier. It, it's a whole mishmash of things. But when it comes to Zazzle, they have their own platform. They have their own products. They're the ones making the poster. And every single one of your printable posters will have a print option, a printed option for the buyer to order without you doing much of anything. The second pro of a Zazzle is something called a file transfer. So when a buyer goes to Zazzle and they see a design they like, they can actually create a different product from that design, still giving you commission. So in this case, let's say I did this Angela's room astronaut thing, a buyer can actually transfer this to purchase a canvas, not a poster. They can also take my meditating yoga woman poster that I designed and instead of buying it as a printable wall art, they can literally, as a buyer, print it on a notebook and I'll get commission. So buyers have the option to transfer the files onto any other product of the 1500 products that Zazzle have and you will still get commission for this sale, which is Something super cool. Literally, someone can even use that astronaut poster as an invite for a kid's astronaut-themed birthday. The third benefit of selling printable wall art on Zazzle versus Etsy is the file type. And when I say file type, I also mean the amount of files, because this is something big on Etsy. Everybody's like, well, I need this aspect ratio and this aspect ratio and this aspect ratio and this PDF and this PDF. And how can I send it to the buyer? Because there is a limit on the file size and there are so many things you have to do when you sell printable wall art on Etsy. You need to create all of these JPEGs for the buyer in every aspect ratio. Unless, of course, you go with just making one aspect ratio, which we've had a video about this, I think, two years ago, almost two years ago. It was one of my favorite videos to make because so many people are like, obsessed with making art in every single aspect ratio when you can just do a one by one ratio and give people one JPEG. But in this case, the hassle is pretty much done because the buyer will just choose a different aspect ratio and download that file. And that's it. Zazzle is handling that part, not us. Pro number four, no customer support. Yes, we did have the pro on Etsy with that connection with a client, but on Zazzle, you don't need to do anything. You're not sending this to anyone. If someone is going to buy from your Etsy store and they don't know how to unzip a folder, you're going to get stuck giving them customer support. Or if they're going to choose the wrong size, they can give you a bad review or so many things that can happen. But here, if a buyer has a problem, they contact Dazzle customer support. And also it's like an instant download thing and it's one file. It's no brainer. So you don't have any care in the world to handle any customers. 
to me, this is something that I really do enjoy because I I like to work when I like to work, but when I don't like to work, I like to like, la 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 la, no one talk to me, no one bother me. So this was a big plus for me. Number five pro with Zazzle, there is no cost to get started. You can literally upload, I don't know, a hundred posters and you will pay nothing versus the Etsy fee of 20 cents per listing. There is a link down below in the description to get your first 40 free listings on Etsy. But again, with Zazzle, there is no cost to start. And I have heard people talking about the fact that Zazzle has this tax file, so does Etsy. So there is no cost to actually start a Zazzle store. You can upload as many as you want. I wouldn't recommend uploading like 50 designs on your first day because it might look like spam to the platform. Upload five, see how you feel about it, and upload little by little every single day. That is the best advice I have to give you regardless of a platform just you know make it easier on yourself don't just bombard yourself with everything pro number six you can actually create the entire poster on zazzle you don't need canva or anything else as you've seen i did with the kids poster with the astronaut graphics from creative fabrica however that's not the only thing that i've done with it because i also actually made a poster for myself that says today will be a good day and all the elements you see here are actually watercolor clip art that i made myself on Procreate, which by the way, you can buy those as well and create the exact same design if you want. And they're available on maytribe.com along with other graphics and clip arts and fonts and Procreate brushes that you can use for commercial purpose without a need of a license with a one-off purchase and design something like I designed here for yourself because this was really a fun thing to design, just putting those elements on top of each other using text from the Zazzle platform and wrote, today will be a good day. And this is a design that I actually did another variation for without a text and without the green elements, just the blue ones. And it's really fun to just play around with the Zazzle creator and just create designs on the platform. Like you're literally designing it on the poster instead of designing it on another platform and then trying to guess if it's gonna be good enough DPI. Pro number seven to Zazzle is that you can affiliate your own stuff. And by affiliate, I mean, you can refer people to come into this design from social media, from your blog, from a website with a referral link that will give you an extra 15% commission. However, if someone purchases from other sellers, let's say they go to my astronaut painting or poster, and then they choose to purchase from someone else, I still get that 15% commission. I made a full video on how to affiliate your own products for Zazzle and Society6, and I will leave a link to that video down below. In that video, I mentioned that you cannot affiliate your own Etsy products, which is now not true because Etsy actually changed it two days after I made that video. Coincidence. I'm kidding, of course it was a coincidence. Etsy doesn't watch my videos. But the thing is that with Etsy, you have to apply to be in an affiliate program. You have to show them that you have a blog first and the whole process is a lot longer than actually affiliating your own stuff with Zazzle. I will also leave a link down below to the Etsy affiliate program tutorial for you guys, which I think I did like a year ago or something like that. I, I even forgot I made that video. Pro number eight with Zazzle, you can create as many stores as you want. You want to create a store for printable wall art for kids rooms. And again, with also physical posters and physical products, cool, go ahead and do that. And then you start playing around with Zazzle and you wanna go like, yeah, I also wanna do printable greeting cards, do that. And then you kinda of also wanna sell mugs, so do that. I had six stores today on Zazzle before opening this test store. Now, yes, on Etsy you can have multiple stores, but I think you can have only two and you have to link them to each other. And it's quite a bit of a mess there from different users. Here, I manage all my stores from the same user. I can literally log in to my user upload a notebook to self-love journaling, and then upload a shower curtain to my bathroom mania store. I don't have to exit the store, log out of my profile, and log into the new one, or anything like that. And last but not least, as a pro, number nine pro, Zazzle versus Etsy, and that will be for printable wall art or anyone beginners, because Zazzle has no personal reviews for your store. Because all of the products are made by Zazzle, Zazzle is the actual store. So no one can go into your Zazzle profile and go like, oh, they just started now. They have zero sales. They have zero reviews. No, this is the best platform to start as a beginner versus Etsy 
in my opinion. Now at this point, if you're still watching this video, I feel like I have like filming madness because this has been like on my end, I don't know how many minutes it is after editing, but on my end, we are well into like 87 minutes of filming. So at this point, if you're still watching with me and if you liked this video or found this content useful, please hit the like button down below because every time you do that, YouTube thinks, hey, this is a cool video. I'm going to show it to more people. I would really love to hear your opinion about this marketplace. Have you tried Zazzle for print on demand? Are you going to try it for printable wall art? What do you think about this? Do you want me to make a separate tutorial just for the printable greeting cards? There are more tutorials coming up on Zazzle and multiple other platforms. So please let me know in the comments what you thought about this. Is this something you're going to try and what kind of videos you want to see next? And one last thing before I go is, again, I don't know if you know, Noticed, but when I was uploading the design of the astronaut, the photo, the pretty photo, as well as the photo that I just showed you a few minutes ago with my own wall art, it does have a different kind of mock-up to it. And that mock-up is from a website called Canvi. And Canvi is a freemium website to create your own wall art mock-ups. That means that they have free items as well as a paid membership. And I made a video about Canvi just, I think, a day or two days ago. So if you are interested in selling printable wall art on Zazzle or on Etsy or print on demand wall art on Zazzle, on Etsy or any other platform, I highly recommend you watch that video next. But with that being said, that was it for me for today, even though I said with that being said like 17 times because seriously, I'm getting madness in my brain from filming for such a long time. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing weekend or week, depend on where you're watching this video. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!